Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain factorials of positive integers. A factorial of a positive integer m is the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to m. For example, 3 factorial, written as 3 with an exclamation point, is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, and that equals 6. Factorials may seem challenging because the numbers they generate get so big so quickly it's impractical to compute them. Therefore, we need to reason with them, and that's why they make good problems for the GMAT. The advantage of a factorial is that it includes as a factor every integer between 1 and the factorial number. That is, suppose you have 10 factorial. Then, 10 factorial equals 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. What can we see from this? We can see, for example, that the prime numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7 divide 10 factorial, but no other prime number divides it. Also, various products of numbers divide 10 factorial. Here are some examples. Powers of 2 that divide it are 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, but not 512. Multiples of 2 that divide it are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and many more. Various multiples of 3, 4, 5, and 7 also divide it. Factorials are useful in calculating permutations, combinations, and probability, as we discuss in other videos. For now, consider this problem. 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial equals what? This expression is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 and so forth down to 1, divided by 7 times 6 and so forth down to 1. But notice that many of the numbers in the numerator and denominator cancel. So you're left with 10 times 9 times 8 equals 720. Or suppose you have a problem like this one. 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 3 factorial. That's equal to 10 times 9 times 8 down to 1 divided by 7 times 6 times 5 down to 1 times 3 times 2 times 1. First, you cancel out all the factors of 7 factorial, and that leaves you with this, 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. Canceling the 3 in the denominator with the 9 in the numerator leaves 3 in the numerator and canceling the 2 in the denominator with the 8 in the numerator leaves 4 in the numerator. So we now have 10 times 3 times 4, which equals 120. These kinds of computations are standard with permutation and combination problems, and they greatly simplify working with factorials. Now let's look at this problem. 50 factorial ends with how many zeros? And here are some possible answers. Let's illustrate how to solve this problem by looking at 10 factorial. 10 factorial equals 10 times 9 times 8 and so forth down to 1. A zero occurs at the end of a number whenever it's multiplied by 10, or in other words by a 5 and a 2. As you can see, every second number in the factorial is even, so there are plenty of 2's. On the other hand, a number divisible by 5 comes up only once in every 5 numbers. In 10 factorial, there are 2 numbers, 5 and 10, which are divisible by 5. That means that 10 factorial will have 2 zeros at the end. So, to calculate the number of zeros at the end of 50 factorial, we need to know how many numbers divisible by 5 are in the 50 numbers. Obviously, there are 10 of them. 5, 10, 15, 20, and so forth, up to 50. However, two of these numbers, 
25 and 50 are divisible by 5 twice. That is, 25 equals 5 squared and 50 equals 2 times 5 squared. Thus, for each of these two numbers, there is an extra zero at the end of 50 factorial. Altogether, then, there are 12 zeros at the end of 50 factorial. So the correct answer is C. For more on factorials and their uses, see our other videos and go to www.gmatmath.online. And you can get our eBooks, GMAT Math Basics, GMAT Math Problem Solving, and GMAT Math Data Sufficiency. Thanks for your interest.